Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, now let's uh, wrap uh, this engine up. Okay, let's uh, first off center this the way it should be. Uh, let's see here. Uh, sound like this, more or less. Okay. <coughs> Now, uh, yeah, let's resize it a bit, actually. Okay, let's add a few uh, bolts. So let's just grab one from here. Okay. We're going to make these a little bigger, I think, at least. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's bring this over. Yeah. We're going to add one over here. Yeah, this is uh, actually perfect. And one over here, over here at the bottom, and one over here. Okay, let's uh, make another copy so that we have it over here, and let's combine all of these guys. Center pivot, and let's copy them over here. And let's scale them on the Z. Let's see, yep, on the Z so that it's actually uh, sort of mirrored okay and those guys something like this I guess yeah, that's okay now let's continue and uh, put these knobs over here bolts and what not Okay, now let's just combine these guys and do pretty much the same thing that we did earlier. Combine, center pivot, duplicate, bring them over here, and just scale it on the Z axis. Okay, drag them over about here, and that's pretty much it, I think. Looks fairly decent. Okay, let's take another look at the whole setup and uh, <coughs> okay, let's resize this a bit on this axis, kind of like that. And uh, yeah, I want to bring these guys a little down because I think they're a little too up. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna screw up a little, but whatever. I'm just gonna... Yeah, sort of like that. A little more, actually. A little more. Okay, kind of like that. And then we're gonna... Yeah, let's just delete this one. Resize this a bit. Bring it a bit up. Duplicate it, rotate it with the minus 15 degrees. Okay, bring it a bit forward. This one a bit here. Yeah, let's just drag a little bit over here. And yeah. Okay, um, what to do next? Okay, let's go for that uh, second tank over here. Okay, so let's go with... Uh, okay, let's go for a uh, cube. <coughs> let's just drag this all out over here. Add some topology. Let's go with 444. Four, four. Okay, let's just... Uh, start and uh, resize some of this over here okay let's just put it over yonder let's see what we can actually do with it okay something like this something like this something like this okay move these bits over here these over here and so on and so forth 
Okay, let's resize them a bit more. Kind of like this. Okay, let's bring these guys over here. Resize them. Yeah, this is sort of a awkward and well, not really awkward, but weird shape. So, yeah. Okay, more or less. Okay, now let's uh, actually resize on uh, this part over here. Something like this. Okay, now uh, let's go into, the, into this view. <coughs> Grab these vertices over here. Resize them a bit. Okay, let's see what we came up with. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how this actually looks like smoothed. Hmm. Yeah. More or less. Let's just uh, put it over here and see how it looks. And we'll see. We'll pick it up from there. Okay. Resize a bit. Okay, let's uh, work with it a little more. Okay, so I play, played with it a little more and uh, I came up with something like this. <clears throat> it's not perfect, but meh. I'll just leave it like this for uh, the time being. I'll, uh, we'll play with it a little more uh, later. I want to get a general look also so uh, yeah for the time being let's just leave it like that um, small tip my topology over here it's not really well defined or well defined or whatever it's uh, well more or less all over the place the idea when uh, working with uh, geometry especially when you'll see this uh, working with faces and heads and stuff like that is that uh, the rule of thumb is that you have to keep uh, a certain uh, flow going with your uh, edges edge loops over here so that it looks uh, not really organic but uh, well smooth so to speak uh, so yeah but anyway we'll just uh, we'll leave it like this and we'll come to it later alright or maybe okay let's just uh, drag these uh, vertices here always up so that it actually touches the uh, seats over here uh, something like that anyway okay Okay, now let's go on and uh, make the uh, exhaust pipes uh, over here. Now, excuse me, there's two ways we can actually tackle this, so to speak. We can uh, start from a cylinder and just add new edge loops, rotate it around, all of that stuff. Or, we can actually use a CV curve. Now, what a CV curve is, is basically a connection of uh, control vertices, alright? which you can create uh, over here and create actually create a, a curve uh, now when doing this I uh, <coughs> devise it to actually do it in uh, one of the four panes view because otherwise it's just gonna look all messed up so let's start from uh, our front view over here start from somewhere around here okay now we made three points when you actually create the fourth one it actually creates a curve all right which you can see over here now we go we'll go all the way down and up until over here somewhere all right now we'll go into the uh, side view over here and continue along the way all right okay let's go up about here Okay, after this, press enter, and you're pretty much done. You can also edit it, edit uh, this out uh, 
if you want to. And we're actually going to do that right about now. Okay, let's uh, bring these three guys about here. And let's make this look a little more uh, interesting. Okay, drag this over here. This guy over here. Okay. Alright, let's uh, check our front view over here. The perspective. Yeah, looks about right. Okay, what we can actually do now is uh, use an object that will uh, actually extrude along uh, these, uh, this CV curve that we have over here. So uh, let's create a cylinder. Right? <clears throat> let's rotate it on the x axis by 90 degrees. Let's position it in uh, exactly the point that our CV curve starts. All right. Drag it about here. Let's take a look at our perspective view. Okay. Now, you if for this to work, you actually have to uh, the CV curve and the object have to touch. All right. Oh. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, the, basically this is our object that we have selected and this is our curve, all right? After we have this done, just, uh, okay, let's center this a little bit more and resize it a bit because it's a bit too big. Uh, something like this, I guess. Let's move the CV curve a little ways to the right, okay? This as well. Okay, after this, just uh, select these faces over here. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, after this, shift select your curve and click the extrude button. Alright. Now, this is gonna happen. So that it actually um, follows the curve, you have to add a uh, little more uh, divisions over here so let's go for something like uh, I don't know 30 and see what we come up with uh, yeah that looks about right okay after this just uh, go into object mode and be sure to click on delete on uh, delete history you can also find it under edit uh, delete by type history all right uh, you have to do this because, well, if you don't, if you make any changes to the curve, all right, or even delete it, your object will delete, will uh, go along with it, all right. So after deleting history, just press delete, and you're pretty much done. All right. Okay, now I think uh, this is it for our eighth part. I'll catch you guys in the ninth.